Shazam just hit theaters. Does DC have another hit on their hands? Well, let's find out on today's episode of Planetary Reviews, guys. What's up guys? Well, I finally got back from seeing Shazam and man am I excited to talk about this movie from the trailers right away I remember seeing this this trailer and going this looks like a fun movie This looks like the type of movie that just like Aquaman it could really just boost the DC universe in a very positive way and Boy oh boy did it this movie was really fun. That's really just the, the thing that really encompasses this movie at the end of the day for me. It was a fun, fun movie. So much just charisma, so much personality, so much heart, the adventure, the special effects were really good. Overall, the movie was great, guys, but let's get into more detail. I know you guys want to know more about it. So, for those of you who don't know the story of Sazam, the story goes that a boy named Billy Baxton is chosen by a wizard named Shazam who has the powers of many of the Greek P Greek gods that we know of and demigods and he has all these abilities and he had to choose somebody to take on these powers because he was getting too old to be able to do his job I don't want to spoil what his job is so I'm just gonna say that and along the way after Billy Baxton learns what these abilities are and how to do them along that journey he finds out that there's a big bad out there because of course when a superhero comes up a big bad has to pop up because you know superhero formulas but luckily the film did a great job with that and I have to say that the villain in this movie was wasn't horrible but I wasn't super super amazed by it I wasn't super like oh my god he's so deep and amazing his backstory did make him more understandable as to why he got like this but overall it really didn't do anything to propel the character it didn't really do anything to make you go I like that villain he's gonna be very forgettable and you guys are not really gonna be too fond because the fact that I don't even remember his name because I'm not a huge Shazam comic book fan myself I only know the bare minimum but I don't even remember the guy's name that's how much I just really wasn't into the villain in this movie the man who played him was not bad. The man who played him was Mark Strong, and it, he, he did a good job. He did the best with what he got, and I thought he had a good presence, and his performance was good. This, just that the story in the writing form really didn't make me go, wow, great villain. It was just, okay, someone for him to fight that's a bad guy, has his reasons, there you go. Not going to get into any, anything else on that. But the really big thing that I have to talk about is that I love... Zachary Levy. He did an amazing job playing Shazam slash Billy Baxton in this adult body. He encompassed the inner child in a way that really made you just love him. You just, every time he comes on screen, he did such a good performance that he literally makes you feel like it's not even a transformation other than physical. He makes you believe that he is the character Billy Baxton just as in, in, an, in an adult body with superpowers. And, and he's so charismatic, he has so much heart. It's just such a fun, fun time and he's on screen. And the way he portrayed the confusion of how he was trying to learn his powers and everything was excellent, excellent job. I loved him, he was awesome. And he's a great member to have in this DC universe that they have going on. I'm very happy he's here. But I also have to commend the other performances in this movie because the two kids, we got Asher Angel was an excellent performance. He did a great job as Billy Baxton in his kid form and I loved him. He had a lot of charisma. He did a great job with trying to portray some of the confusion that he had about his abilities as well. So some of the more emotional moments he did a great job with and I absolutely adored it. He was, he was, a, he was awesome. I loved it. And that goes for all of the kids in this movie. Every single character was played beautifully. Even some of the ones that didn't get that much screen time ended up really getting your attention because the film just did a great job of making these kids all look unique and different. Even the ones that don't really get as much screen time as the two main guys. So 
Other than that, the next thing I gotta say is when the action goes down, damn, it is cool. It looks really awesome when the fights go down. I loved it. And some of the sometimes the CGI did stand out a little bit too much for some of the creatures and stuff like that that he fought. Like you'll it's it'll, it'll stand out a little bit. But other than those couple moments where the CGI is kind of like, oh, I don't know. Overall, it is a great experience to the eyes. The way they made his suit look was excellent, and the way they made the fight scene in this movie look looked great. It didn't look like it didn't look like I couldn't tell what was going on. The action was really intense and very fun, and the movie had a great, great pacing to me. They had some 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 uh, character-driven moments. Then you learn about his powers, and then he has some action, then powers, action, character moments. Very good pacing that kept me into it, and I was 150% into this movie. And then, after that, the next thing I want to talk about is the fact that this movie just had so much heart. That, that, that is really important to me, with the comedy especially. The heart and the comedy really complemented this movie because they could have easily messed this up by making this too dark of a universe. But I love the fact that they're making this very light. They're, they're embracing the lightness that their heroes have, and this is incredibly important with a character like Shazam. He's a kid at heart. Embrace that. Embrace the type of person he is. Embrace the friends that he has in his life. Embrace the way a kid would be discovering his abilities when he has his ability to shoot lightning out of his fingertips, has the ability to fly, has the ability to be bulletproof, has the ability to just kind of be almost like a god amongst men, similar to like Superman, but have a kid reacting to having all these awesome abilities. And it was great. It did an amazing job. And overall, guys, I think everyone should go out and see this film because it was fun, it was funny, it was action-packed, had a lot of heart, great charisma, great performances by everyone in the cast. Everyone did a fantastic job, and it just made you want to stay in the theater. There was never a moment in this film where I wanted to get out, where I was like, oh, is this over yet? No, there was nothing like that. I was always 100% in, and I was so happy when we got to the end of the film. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it was very satisfying. They did something that I didn't think was going to happen until maybe a sequel, but they did it at the end of this one, and I was like, this is great. I, it, it just embraced all of the, the heart that it had and all of just the personality it had engulfed right at the end especially and I appreciated it. It felt phenomenal even though like I said the villain wasn't 100% amazing. I wasn't feeling him 100% but I understood he was a bad guy. Simple and there you go. And sometimes the CGI at times is just a little bit off. It felt like it didn't look too, too amazing. Only in a couple parts though, not too many. But overall, it does not degrade the experience too much by any means necessary. Because at the end of the day, Shazam gets a solid A- minus from me, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Any of you sh hardcore Shazam fans out there, let me know what you guys saw to this film in the comment section below because I'm really curious as to what you guys saw because I'm just a casual viewer when it comes to Shazam. I don't read his comics. I only know the bare minimum of what he is and who he is. So I'm really curious as to what you guys think because you guys are the ones that are going to have the big opinions, I'm sure, if they got a comic book accurate, if you didn't like it, why you didn't like it. I'm really curious about what you guys think. But... Also, my next movie review is definitely going to be Hellboy. I'm very excited to see that movie, even though I'm not 100% if it's going to be as good as the Ron Perlman movies. But we'll see what happens. It'll still look like a fun time. And guys, sorry I haven't put any videos up in a little bit, but I've been working really hard with playing The Division, trying to make sure I get a lot of content done to give you guys an accurate review. As for Anthem, I had played that game. I It was just hard to fit in. I'm in school right now and work. It's just hard to fit in those two very long games they had to devote a shit ton of time into so currently i've decided to go with the division but anthem i'll talk about at another point i have a lot to say about that one but those are my videos that are going to be coming next hellboy and then i promise the division will be coming out as a review guys but guys as always thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you that decided to watch my videos hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because i love doing this and i love film and i love games guys and i love seeing other people have the same passions that I do. But anyway, you guys have a great day, and thank you so much for watching.